one morning, Deirdre sat by the window looking out at an early snowfall. A congress of ravens suddenly descended upon the orchard, and one landed on the snow to peck at a beautiful apple that had recently fallen. Why, that bird, said Deirdre, is like the man I saw in my dream last night. His hair was dark like the ravens, his skin fair as the snow, and his cheeks as red as that apple. He is the man I shall marry. But Lavarham called her away from the window. Winter months that followed were grey and tremulous. Lowered skies released mists of snow upon the hut. Finally spring came, and one day Deirdre was out collecting wood for the stove when she heard a light singing voice. Three hunters were upon a path along the northern edge of the royal forest. Deirdre found their song enchanting, but the hunters took no notice of her. As they passed, her attention fell to the tallest hunter. He entered the forest as the other two travelled on. He is the man of my vision, she said incredulously. Deirdre could not contain herself and hurriedly gathered her skirts to follow after him. Deirdre found the hunter in a wide clearing in the forest. He was a young knight of the red branch with grey, certain eyes. The canopy of tall oaks spread overhead, the branches reaching together but not quite touching. Deirdre was compelled by a force she had never known before. She went near to him. From the corner of her eye, she saw the sunbeams of light streaming downward, though they seemed to her to shoot from the earth towards the sky. Her heart throbbed in her chest as she drew her face to his own. She waited a moment, then she gently kissed him. Stepping away, Deirdre quietly spoke this speech. I saw you in a vision. I will run away with you and love you forever. My kiss is against the king's rule, and I have come away from my mistress without permission. At the new moon they will take me to his palace to be his wife. You must take me away from here. The hunter looked at her and he spoke. I am Nish, the eldest of the sons of Ushnach. He had never seen such beauty. As he spoke, he trembled, for he realized who he now held in his arms. Do you not remember the Druid's prophecy? There is still time for you to return. I value this one moment more than ten lifetimes with Conacher. Deirdre looked into Nish's eyes, and he there decided. He gave her his love. They ran together to find Nish's brothers, Alan and Arden, who welcomed Deirdre, but feared for their brother's safety. They together decided to leave that night, so they gathered provisions and left in a hurry, going into exile by sea to Alba, that is, Scotland.
Nish, Deirdre, Alan and Arden settled at the head of Loch Etiv. They built a home of red clay at the top of a waterfall and called the home Granian Deirdre, which means Deirdre's sunny home. The mountain people of Argyll welcomed the great warriors. Nish caught the river's salmon and the deer of the glen, and Deirdre thought that none could be so content as they. For many moons they lived happily. The months became years, and time moved slowly and beautifully, slower than a candle burns, slower indeed than a memory fades.